Hey, my name is Krista Lee. I'm here to show you some mindful movements you can do in a short period of time to wake up the body, wake up the brain, become inspired, feel creative, and hopefully be more productive. So I am in a seated position, but we will offer um, standing positions too. So if you have space, this would be a great short little video for you to do. Um, remember, only do what feels comfortable. Um, you do not want to push anything right now. We're just here to mindfully move our bodies. Um, we're going to start again, seated, knees over the ankles. Palms are flat on those knees. We want to sit up nice and tall, but not with the chest out and the bum out. We want to stick the heart over the hips and be really tall. So I'm sitting on the edge of my chair. That's helpful. Um, regardless if you have one of those big cushy office chairs or a folding chair like I have as a prop, you just want to make sure that you have the opportunity to have nothing touching your back and supporting you, that you are your own support. From here, we're just going to drop our chins to our chest. Take a breath in through the nose and then hot out and let the shoulders come down. Good. From here, we're gonna inhale, sweep our arms up, lift our gaze. And then exhale, go back to where you were. Chin to chest. We're gonna add on to that. We're gonna inhale, lift our arms up. Interlace those fingers, round your spine, tuck your chin, exhale. And then inhale. And then the hands come back down to the thighs. All right, we're gonna try that again. Sweep our arms up, breathe in. Interlace those fingers, lift that gaze, exhale, round the spine, kind of hug the barrel. Inhale, rise up. On the exhale, you're gonna open your heart space. So if you can grab, I have these great bars here that help me hold on to it. You lift the chin and chest. And then exhale all the air out. It might be the arms of your chairs. It might be that you have the space to go all the way behind you and interlace your fingers. Now we're going to inhale, reach our arms up, and then hands back down on the thighs. So I'm going to turn my body so you can see what we're doing. We're going to do that one more time. Nice and rooted. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Interlace those fingers. Exhale, round the spine, tuck your chin. Inhale, nice tall spines. And then exhale, open that heart. Breathe in, lift the chin and chest. Hot out. Inhale, the arms come up. And then hands come down. Go to roll those shoulders. Forwards, backwards, side to side, whichever feels good to you. I'm going to spin myself again. There's a lot of movement of my props so that you can have the best seat in the house for safety. And again, we're doing about two hip distance or two fist distance between the thighs. It's about a hip distance, knee over the ankles, on the edge of your seat because you're so excited to be here. We're going to take an inhale and sweep one arm up high to the sky and then cactus it oh, all the way, elbow to waistline. And then inhale, bring it back up. And then back, inhale, reach it up, cactus it, and inhale. And back down. We're doing again. Three is the magic number. And then exhale. By that time, you kind of go, okay, I know what I'm doing. And you can inhale nice and big when you reach up. Exhale, squeeze. Maybe you make a fist. And then inhale. So the last time here. Big breath in. And out. And inhale. Opening up the shoulders. A little bit of the front of the pecs, breathing in, God. And then we're just going to do some cows and some cats. You round and then inhale, lift, exhale, round. Let yourself hold on to your knees just a little bit. I'm going to move into a twist, tear, coming back up to the center and a twist. So when I say twist, I mean, it's literally just like keep your Gaze center mostly, and you're just doing it. Maybe you want a little bit more. You have to lift your arms up. This is nice and slow. You do not have to go as fast as I am, but you want to be able to feel your body wake up. And we're going to hold a twist here in just a second. So come back to the center. 
We're gonna keep our feet nice and stable. You're gonna take your hand opposite knee. Again, doesn't matter which one you do first as long as you do them both. And the opposite hand is just on the outside of the thigh or maybe holding onto the edge of the chair. Take a breath in and then exhale. Gaze over the opposite shoulder. Take a breath in. Maybe twist a little bit more. One more time, breathe in. God, come back to the center. So I'm gonna turn my chair so you have a good view here. So again, opposite side. Whatever side you didn't do the last time, do this time. Opposite hand. I'm gonna first just start at my hip. Gazing forward, breathe in, tall spine. Exhale, twist. And I use this to help me twist. And then I'm gazing. I'm gonna hold on, it's a better leverage, like a kickstand hand for me. One more breath. Good, come back to the center. Now we're gonna do some standing things. Again, I'm gonna use the back of my chair, so I'm moving my props here. Thanks for your flexibility here. Using the back of my chair, and all I'm gonna do, standing leg closest to the chair is gonna be your rooted leg. Just hand on hip, you're gonna inhale, lift it up. Maybe exhale a little kick, flex that foot, inhale, bend, and exhale, lower. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale, lift it, exhale, breathe in, and down. One more time, inhale, and exhale, and down. We're gonna sweep around to the other side. If you're lucky like me, you can just move the chair, or you turn around, inhale, exhale, kick. Breathe in and down. Knee to about hip height here. As you breathe out, you squeeze that quadricep and then lower one more time. Inhale and exhale and inhale and down. Both hands to hips. Just do a nice little side to side. Don't bend the knee side to side like you're walking in place. We got somewhere to go and we are busy. <laughs> Great, I'm gonna move my chair here so that I'm facing this way and we're gonna face your chair face your desk if you've got that or if you're at a standing desk or a counter you can hold on to that i'm just using this for a balance it's super important we do not want to challenge our balance too much in the office so from here we're going to take an inhale and you just peel back one foot step it back okay you got a little lunge here and your lunge can be as big as it's comfortable for you now your front knee is very important so that this knee stays over your ankle so if you find yourself ah, like that, you hear things pop, that's weird. We want for safety reasons, knee over ankle. Okay, we're just in this little lunge and we're going to take, so my right foot is forward, my left foot's back. If you're opposite, that's fine. You, you're the, the um, front leg, that arm, okay, is gonna stay on the chair. So my left arm is gonna reach up high to the sky. And I'm just gonna take an exhale and maybe bend just a little bit more. Now, if you have the balance, you're feeling comfortable, you can move two both arms up high in a nice full expression of crescent lunge. If you're a little less stable, it's okay, keep holding on. One more breath here. Now, everyone's gonna hold on. We're gonna pivot that foot 90 degrees. So our arch to heel is in the alignment here. Front knee stays bent. It likes to come in. Oh, don't let that puppy come in. We wanna keep that hip open. That back leg is straight. Now this is where it's super important. My right leg is forward. My left leg is back. Both arms, if you've got the balance, come out. You just take a breath here. Let it go. And now we're gonna come back into the lunge. Both hands sturdy. Back up to standing and just swap sides. Woo. We want to make sure we're balanced. Front knee over the ankle. Back leg is pushing back. Shoulders out of the ears. Now my right arm, so my back leg arm is going to reach up. So I have that length. Play with it. So notice how my gaze is forward. You're staring at something not moving. So you have focal points. Sometimes you might catch yourself dazing or people were like, why are you la la land? No, I'm focusing. While you're focusing on this unmoving thing, you're not necessarily 
focusing on that one little speck on the wall, what you're looking at is something that gives you a point to stare at. So your inspiration, your creativity can funnel through that and then come, oh, no, just kidding. We have to do the other side. I'm gonna face away from you for a second. So warrior two, heel, arch. And now we're keeping that front leg pointed open. Back arm goes long. Maybe the top one reaches. We're holding here for a few breaths. One more breath. And we gotta come back through the lunge so that we're facing forward, back into standing. Nice, very well done. So warrior two in the office is totally doable. So as you are doing these, um, always listen to your body. Make sure that if your stance is too wide and you're feeling uncomfortable, tone it down a little bit. If you feel better with your foot here, and your knees just a little bent, totally fine. Remember, we're here to move them mindfully. So now as we are um, winding down, because we just did these powerful poses and you can hear it in my voice, we wanna make sure that we get really excited, really inspired, but we gotta stay grounded too. So we're gonna do a balancing posture of tree. So again, this time, your standing leg away from the chair is your balancing leg and we are going to take just to the calf today, okay? So it is just to the calf, and I am just balancing right here in tree. My hand is helping me with balance, and the other one is nice and just relaxed on my hips. I'm gonna lift my gaze again, stare at something not moving. If you're feeling pretty good about this, you can bring the other hand to your other hip and things will waver. Trees are supposed to sway, remember? And you just breathe. There we go. Before you come out of any postures, make sure you get that balance. Whew. Now, I'm moving my chair instead of showing you my backside. Okay, so my standing leg, my balancing leg is the one away from the chair. So hand on hip. And if you were feeling like your tree today is just at the ankle and you got a little toe right there because you need extra support, please do that. Some days I need all the support I can get. If you wanna be feel a little dangerous, you bring your knee up to the calf, just the calf. We do not need to bring it all the way up into the upper thigh. And I'm balancing here and I'm finding that one point of focus. And then maybe I can bring both hands off of the chair. Oh, and I'm feeling very strong, very rooted. My breath is coming back into that centered space. One more breath in your tree pose. Again, hold for balance before we come out of this. Whew. All right, we're gonna go back into our chairs to wrap things up. So as you sit, again, remember we're sitting on the edge. Okay, so the, the back edge or the front edge, I'm not sure how you would put that. And you were just nice and tall. So none of the chest out, bum out, you want heart over hips. So we have a nice alignment for the energy to flow through your spine here. So staring, woo, I'm gonna face you so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> we're gonna practice some alternate nostril breathing to cleanse our brains. This is a great breathing exercise. You can do this at any time, and it really is like a reset button for some creativity and some inspiration and motivation. So opposite hands, or your dominant hands, sorry, and you're gonna use ring finger and thumb. So our thumbs are going to block off a nostril, and you are going to take a big breath in. And then you're gonna block the left, or the, with the ring finger, Breathe all the air out. Let's do that. So block with the thumb. Inhale, block with the ring finger, breathe out. One more time, use the thumb, breathe in. Ring finger, breathe out. Now hold that here, breathe in. 
lock with the thumb, breathe out. You can even close the eyes and go inward a little bit. Inhale. Block with the thumb, breathe out, exhale. Last time, block with the ring finger, inhale. Block with the thumb, exhale. Good, hands to the thighs. Let it all out through the mouth. Notice the sense of clarity in the brain in the body, maybe you have some energy. All of this is really good and it took us just a few minutes getting out of our chair, moving our bodies and breathing mindfully. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for joining me, allowing me to be a part of your workspace to create some motivation, some inspiration, hopefully creativity while we're staying grounded, flexibility in our bodies, in our brains. Have a wonderful day, namaste.